Okay, everybody, welcome to today's classes. Today we will, we will be learning how to make some 3D clay modeling, right? First step, everybody concentrate here. The first step is to take a chunk, chunk of clay or make, make a big ball out of it. Everybody take a big chunk from your boxes, a big chunk, a big chunk and make, roll it on your palms, put it between your palms and roll it smoothly. How do you roll? Yeah, like a, like a spear shape, right? Like a, like a ball. Take the, take the spear in your hand and take the ruler, okay? Take the ruler. Now, cut, cut the spear. Like, you know, you, you can just insert it. Like, you know, you could just chop it slowly, right? But you don't have to go all the way deep. Just chop it like, you know, just like a marking. You're making a marking on it. And then you could go little down, like, you know, not, the, not all the way down, but you could go like, like three fourth of it. Okay, the third step is, watch it everyone. The third step is to separate them. Like I said, separate them, but don't break it, okay? Don't break them. Now we are moving to the next step. Hold one of the corners out of four and have you seen an elephant's leg, right? You gotta make it, make it like, like, you know, like the straight, like a leg shape. That's what we are doing now. Okay, in the next step, what we are doing is watch the screen, everybody. Watch the screen. You gotta watch constantly, watch it, listen to it. Take a chunk of like piece, another clay. It's gonna be the head of the elephant, okay? But make sure it is smaller than the body. It has to be smaller than the body, right? So make a spear out of it one more time. So now everybody watch out, watch on the screen, watch, watch the next step, watch everybody, please watch, okay? Now take the ball or the spear and then press gently and make them look like a trunk. How does a trunk look like? It's a cone shape that we are getting, okay? Make sure the cone, how's the cone? The top would be very, very fat and then as it goes down, it is thin, right? Watch this step, everybody. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take like a finger, an inch. This is the inch, right, everyone? Watch it on my thumb. The marking where you have on your thumb. Yeah, take the side of it, like gently press them. Yes, that's what it is, Neha, correct. Gently press them so that you get the bent shape. Let me show you the bent shape here. Look at the bent shape. How does the elephant trunk look like? This is how it is, right? Like the elephant trunk, it's like the head and the trunk. So once you got the trunk, take a pencil, take a pencil. Okay, that's something that you guys need to have, right? Like pencil is something that you need to have with you. Okay, so take the pencil. And what we're gonna do with the pencil is, watch it, watch it on the screen, watch it. Do not attempt until I tell you. Now we need a place, a, a, a kind of hole, right? So what do we do next step? Watch out on the screen. We're gonna take a tiny bits of clay, tiny, like, Tiny, look at them, the size, so tiny, right? We're gonna be placing them on your palm, watch it, watch everybody, watch the screen. You gotta make that shape. It's like a small cone, watch it. The next step, what we're gonna do is, 
take the head, the trunk part, and then put it, the hole that you guys had made, just go ahead and place them there. That's it. The next step is to take the head, place them on the body. This is the best part, right? Like take the head, place it on the body, and then you got to gently press them so that it both gets attached. It gets stuck, right? You got to stick the head on the body. You got to stick the head on the body. In the next step, what we need to do is you got to take another chunk, a big chunk. You got to take the two equal size of the clay, okay? And then roll them on in your palms and make a spear. Take the spears in your hand, watch it carefully, everybody. You got to place them on the face. Let's go ahead, do that, please. You gotta gently press them so that it it get you know it gives that yours shape. And then tap it on the floor so that it gets flattened. And then go ahead and place them on the elephant's head on the opposite sides, and then gently press. So that it gets the shape of an elephant. Okay, this time watch it. We, we need to take something small, right? Like the another small chunk. And then roll it on the paper, on the floor. Roll it on the table. Watch it, watch it, everyone. That's how you place the tail on the back of the elephant. And don't make it straight, okay? Give it a little bent shape. Give it a little bent shape so that it looks like the elephant is wagging the tail, right? It looks like it's wagging. See, that's the shape that you need to get. Okay, watch it. So what we did, we want, we want you guys to take a pencil or, or a pen so that we can decorate the elephant. We gotta give some shape, right? We gotta give some um, shapes on the elephant. What are we making? What are we making here? It's not the decoration, it's the eye socket. We gotta give the eyes, right? So watch it. Don't make a hole. That's why the pen. That's why the pen, right? Like take them, make them like this. 